I hope this is a good match. Oh, it already looks good. Ooh. Oh my God. 485 was made for me. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you see that? Real subtle. It's the subtleties of it all. I am energized today. <laughs> We're doing a full get ready with me today. And then this area right here, you see the water peeking through? It's obviously not dry. My arms hurt so badly from the gym. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I just am gonna tie this down again right here while I do my makeup so that this can further dry, but dry in a flat manner. Okay, so I'm getting ready to go to brunch. I always wear a lip primer. I know, this is discontinued, I hate it. This is really the best one that I have found. I don't like the LA girl one that I told y'all was shying. It doesn't give me the sticky aftermath that I like. I know that Anastasia has a lip primer. I've never tried it. So if you have, please let me know in the comments how you felt about it and if I should purchase it. So I am going to use what I got recently from the Sephora sale. This is the Fenty Pro Filter, that whole long name. This is 485, so hoping for a closer color match with this one. We gonna find out. I've done my skincare routine, including all the hydration that I could ever want. But then I've told you in the past that even though I go hard on the hydration with my skincare routine, I like to then focus on mattification with the makeup. I'm trying to give this a shake because it's all kinds of separated, which is normal. So I am very dewy. I could do a primer, but I don't feel like it. Okay, today I'm gonna just use the Sephora translucent powder. This is the Sephora 99 brush and apply Applying this to my T-zone, okay? And over the brows, cause I don't like my brows are greasy. Now we know that this Fenty Pro Filter is matte, okay? It by itself is matte. Let's go over the eyes too. I hope this is a good match. Oh, it already looks good. It already matches my hand perfectly. What? Ooh, oh my God. 485 was made for me. What? This is matching me so perfectly, just like the Makeup Forever, what is my shade? Oh, right here. My shade is 4N74. What? Oh my God, Fenty, thank you. This is my perfect match. So I no longer need to wear 490, the one that y'all hate. <laughs> y'all got so mad when I wore 490 and call it dark. It was dark on me, well. This is great, I'm excited, wow. Oh, yes, honey. Let me blend this in, hold on. Oh, and this is a Morphe E63 brush. And I'm doing patting more so than wiping because wiping it will take it away. Like I want it to sit on my skin. Oh, I'm so blown away. I'm so happy. Okay, I am so glad that they extended the shades and I'm so glad that I grabbed 485. This is Lancome Tante Ito Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. This is the shade 500 good old full coverage concealer. You feel me? I actually used this concealer in a TikTok video to do the 90s brow trend. So make sure you take a look at that. If you're on TikTok, make sure you follow me. And also here too, listen, we do all things on this channel and it's fun. This ain't no boring channel, honey. This is my e.l.f. Cosmetics sponge. You know, I've migrated to these now. The Amazon sponges just aren't as pliable and soft. So I like these, I have several of them. And I like to start blending in the middle of my concealer, middle of the eye, excuse me, and then outward, turning this over to further blend. You saw that? That was real quick, but that's how I do it, okay? And then pinching to go right here on the side of the nose. Oh, 
face is already looking snatched, but let's go ahead and <sighs> snatch it some more with my contour of the, <laughs> this is my contour of 2022. And contour of 2021 too. When did I discover this? I don't know. This is the KVD Vegan Beauty 098, a good apple bomb. The whole nine <laughs> yards, okay? We're gonna take some of this. This is real dark and it's still gonna show, yep, it's still gonna show on this shade of foundation because you do know that when you change one product and leave the others that you've been using constant, it'll make things look different. So I changed my foundation, but it matches so well that this still looks nice and deep. When I put this color on, let's say 490, it is deep, but not as deep. So I'm taking my time because this is a deep product and you just wanna make sure it don't go too wild. You know what I'm saying? This is a Sephora 57 brush. I'm gonna pinch it. You see, I'm pinching it in my nail or like disjointed. And then we gonna go right up on the side of the nose to contour. I love me a good contour, honey. Okay, bring it into the eyebrow. All right, makeup artist trick there. We are not average. We are not mediocre. You feel what I'm saying? On the other side, I used to make my nose contour so crooked until I realized, yo, let me just do my hand like this. Cause I used to try to use my left hand and it was a disaster. You feel me? So here we go. And I'm going quickly because I always do this. You know what I'm saying? But take your time. If you're a beginner, just skip this. Okay? Don't go practice it when you got somewhere to be. You feel me? <laughs> Hi. Okay, so one of the ways that I have been highlighting my face in a way that, like, even when I'm outside, I'm like, yo, this is, this is bomb. Okay, years ago, I would've thought that this was a hideous concept, but I have been enjoying it. This is the Glow Wish by Huda Beauty Luminous Press Powder. I use the shade Medium Tan 06. I did not like this in the beginning, but it has grown on me in the best of ways. So I'm gonna use the Sephora 99 brush. It looks like this. This is the one I used for my powder in the beginning, right? I'm just wiping it off a little bit. Paper towels are always in the front of me. And I'm going to press here, make sure there are no creases, right? And keep the face like this. You gotta look a little psychotic. <laughs> Take some of the product, you know, on one of the sides and go right up in here, okay? It looks weird. It's like, why are my under eyes looking like I put glitter under them? I get it. But this really does come together once I apply my face powder. Now, what is face powder? Well, watch my video on face powders, <laughs> you know? But uh, you'll see in this video as well. So I'm going in that check mark fashion. That is how. I like to apply my concealer. So this product is going right over all of that. And what I love about taking it all the way up here is that it limits me from even having to apply a highlighter later on, like how we used to do. I feel like that is so old school now. Well, for me at least, because I do this, you'll see it still shows once I bring the whole look together, just watch. And then of course I set the other areas that I've highlighted, but I don't want that to look glowy and luminous and shiny because I've done that before and I didn't like it. So I use the Black Opal True Color Oil Absorbing Pressed Powder in the color Around a Clay Girl. Same brush, okay, I did clean it. And then set this, so it is still light, but it's a matte lightness, okay? All the areas, including here. And the contour still shows, so I don't pinch this when I do my nose. You see, the contour is contouring, so no need to be specific when it comes to the nose. Now here, I use the e.l.f. Cosmetics Powder Foundation, the color Rich 660N, and this is a big LYS powder brush. And I am going over the contour to one, deepen it, and then two, take away some of the shine. Now my face overall may shine a bit because my skincare was very dewy, but then again, we did use the Fenty Pro Filter. Excess goes on the chin to further contour that area. Oh, it's looking like plastic surgery, honey. It's giving snatch. It's gonna all come together too, don't worry. I know I have a little bit extra right there on the forehead. We are gonna bring it all together with the face powder. That's where the face powder comes into play, okay? This is the Sephora 80 brush. I love this. It's at an angle because of how I normally use it, but that ain't how it's gonna be when you buy it. It's all looking disheveled because I've washed it a few times. Anyway, praise the Lord. This is the Patrick Star Doc 4G powder foundation. I know, another powder foundation, but it all works together, okay? Going over everything 
anything to even it out so that it's not so harsh. And we're going over this highlight, starting from the back, as you saw, to even that out as well so that it's not too harsh. And I'm focusing mainly where there are lines of demarcation between the contour, the highlight. So that's where I'm focusing it. I'm not putting this on my contour per se. It is going to get on it, but that is not what I'm trying to do. It's just gonna get there no matter what. You know, so right here in that area, and then of course under the eye, just to bring it all in. And do you see a difference? Comment and let me know. I know you see that difference. I am energized today. <laughs> Woo! I am energized, hi. Look at how this came together. A face powder is necessary. It's it's just a win, it's, it's important. I don't do any makeup look without putting on a face powder. And so here's the stage where I apply an actual highlighter. This is the Rose Ink Cream Highlighter in the color Prismatic. I had to read it, girl, I'm gonna read it. Okay, I use my finger and I do the nose. Cause although it's light, I want it to look frosty. Taking a clean finger and then further blending it. So first was the finger to apply it and then to blend it, okay? Once it's in place, now I just wanna blend it so it doesn't doesn't look so harsh. I want it to look a little natural, although it's a highlighter, like hello. And above the lip right here with the finger because the warmth of the finger warms up the product. And now right in here, I want the chin to look a little bit glowy, but not too much. Do you see that? Real subtle. Now I really could skip this because automatically, do you see? It's already highlighted, but I like to do a lot more. Just a little bit on the finger right here. Do you see that? The warmth of the finger warms it up. No need to even use a sponge. This is doing it for us. And then the clean finger to further blend. Do you see that? Listen, it's the subtleties of it all, you know? Like just look at the upper lip. I'm looking to see where the, shine, the light is shining on it. I have not done an orange lip in too long of a time. So I pulled back out my Beauty Bakery Snackaroons blush in the color Hey Pumpkin. It's just been too long. I love this. Sephora 59 brush. It's a little angled. Woo, I took a lot. Let's dap some off. Wowzers. Ooh, ooh, yes. I'm reminded why I love this. Not that nice of a day outside today. It's more cloudy, but I'm bringing the warmth. I don't care. Mm, 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 mm. Do you see that? Orange blush looks so delicious on brown skin. If you wear orange blush, comment and let me know. Now we're ready for the lip. I'm gonna use this Valentino lipstick. This is the shade 199A. This is a dark brown. This is so sexy, how cute. Focusing on the outer part of the lip. I'm gonna layer because I have been enjoying this Morphe Sweet Tea Liquid Lip. Again, all links are below. It has a, an orange undertone to it that I love, right? It's an orangey brown. Give it a good blot session. Get the inside so you don't get all that caked up nastiness in the middle. And I'm gonna lighten this up with the Sephora 77 lipstick. Lip Stories Primal Instinct lipstick, okay? Lighten it up, make it a little more orangey, golden kind of color right here in the middle. So it's giving more caramel orange, hint of orange, but not so much. And of course you could gloss up the lips, but I'm loving how this looks by itself. Let's take this off now. <laughs> it's still wet, but what you gonna do? I use a lot of product. And gel is water-based, so gel takes ages to dry. That's just what it is. But it's gonna be what it's gonna be. And I like how the bun is a little bit messy. Okay, let's get dressed. All right, so I have this top from Zara that I bought a minute ago. And I wonder if I should do a front tuck type situation with it. These pants are a little thing. The back, of course, because of my waist is poking out. It's my first time wearing them. So let's see, I think the tuck is gonna work. I could have done breast tape and all of that, but I ain't got time for that right now. I gotta go. And it has a nice low V anyway. I can't see this very well, but this is what I'm thinking of. 
right now, off rip. I'm not thinking about a belt per se, cause you know the vibes, you feel me? But then the back, you feel what I'm saying? So it's giving big booty problems, you feel what I'm saying? Let me go look in the mirror a little bit more closely and then find my heels because these are very long pants, hang on. Okay, just kidding, I changed. I didn't like that whole gap behind the butt. And although I've done a reel with this look already, I haven't worn it outside, so I'm wearing it. These pants are Amazon, the top is Zara, and I'm wearing these Miss Lola heels with it. Now this is giving evening wear, but we doing it for the daytime, hang on. All right, so for my jewelry, I got some ear candy from Amazon. Actually, all this is from Amazon, so linking all of it below. This is my JBW Crystal 34 watch. I love wearing this because it's just a bling bling. Every time we come around the city, bling bling. Pinky ring worked about fitty bling bling, you feel me? So, got some black and white Hermes bangles as well. We're just giving Lux, okay? Today's fragrance, Vanilla Royale, Kayali. Ooh, yes. Okay, and that's like the end of the video. If you, oh, and my bag is my Louboutin tote. It has my camera inside of it, all the things. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.